Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 32 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put in the three bear Easter egg, meaning you shoot three bears and you get a song. All right, so uh, I made a little text document of all the steps that you have to take to get this done. Now, let me open this up. Now, first one is, of course, we're going to give credits to uh, Matara for um, providing the script. And credits to Uptown for being the man and bringing you guys this tutorial. That's right, people. All right, so uh, step one. Add this line to your user aliases. So it's going to be under share, raw, sound, aliases, user aliases. And then once you're inside that file, you're going to paste all of this in there. It has to be everything, just in case. This over here is like the volume. And this over here is like the radius. So I put it up to like 500, so you should be able to hear it no matter what. All right, and uh, step two, you're gonna add the song you want to your sound assets. You're just gonna go into sound assets and you're just gonna drop it in. You're gonna rename the file that you made to song Easter egg, egg one. And then uh, it's also we're gonna go to your map name, GSC. And you're going to paste in this code right over here into your function, into your main function. And then also, we're going to add all of this code, all of that, to the end of your map name GSE. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. And next, after that, you know, just add the prefab that I'm going to provide for you guys. And then compile and play. All right, but let me show you guys the steps on how to do this. All right, I'm going to make a new map. That way nobody gets lost. I won't have any other scripts in the way. So let me put a ZM um, tester. Oh, I already got one like that. Did I? I was on the mod level. All right, ZM tester press ok all right I made the scripts now first things first I'm gonna open up this and we're gonna navigate to our um, black ops 3 root folder there we go let me bump this over to the side so you guys can see it all right so this is the root folder now the first step is to add this code right over here into your user aliases. So where we're going to go is we're going to go to share. We're going to go to raw. We're going to go to sound and aliases. And then you're going to see it right here. It says user underscore aliases. You're going to open up this file in notepad. So if you don't have it, you know, just go to open with, go to notepad, click on that. And then here it is right over here. That's the code I was using right there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this, you know, highlight everything and then copy it and then paste it there and then make sure that you save it. I already have it, so that's why I'm not doing it right now. All right. And the next step, we're going to go to your assets folder and then add in the song that you want. So what you would do is just go to the root folder. You go to your sound assets right over here. And you put the song right over here and you're going to rename it to this song Easter egg underscore egg one, which is right over here. So just, you know, put your song in, go to rename and then copy and paste that name and you're good. All right. So then after that, we're going to go to our GSE file. So let's open up launcher or else I guess we could just uh, go through the roof folder. You know, you're in your roof folder. You go to user maps, whatever the map name is for the one you're going to be modifying, you go to that one. So in our, in our case, we're going to go to tester. You're going to go to scripts. You're going to go to ZM and you're going to go to the one that says GSC file, you know, open it up in notepad, double click on it, move this over. All right. And then uh, you're going to scroll down and then right where you see main. Is going to say main function you're just going to copy this part that says thread 
sound Easter egg. And then you're just going to paste it in here within all of this. So it could be anywhere there. So, you know, just go there, make some space, hit tab so it'll move you over, and then just paste it in. Oops, not that part. That's pretty good, but that's not it. But you copy this, you go there, you paste it, and you're done with that part. And then uh, it's, you got to scroll all the way down, all the way to the end of your GSC. I'm in the same file still. Now I'm going to copy all of this. Make sure you get those two at the end. And copy that. Go to the end of the file. Paste it. There we go. Now you have that part done. So it starts from here and it goes all the way down. And then you're going to go to file and you're going to save it. Get out of that. And uh, what's the next step? We're going to add the prefabs to your map. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to say three triggers. This is for the song Easter egg. So we're going to copy this file. You're going to go over to um, your root folder. You're going to go into map source. You're going to go into ZM. Oh, not there. You're going to go to your map, uh, map source, prefabs, ZM, ZM core, and just put it in here. That way it won't get lost. So once you have it in there, open up Radiant. Close all the ones I currently have. All right, you open up Radiant, you go to your map. There we go. All right, so now that I have my map open, I'm just going to hit B on the keyboard for browser. And you're going to go over to MISC. You're going to go to Prefab. And you're going to look for the Prefab that we just put in. There it is, three triggers. And just pop that boy, that boy in there. Double click it. And it should be around here somewhere. There it is. Now, this prefab has three triggers. So let's say if you're going to use teddy bears or if you're going to use skulls or if you're going to use any other kind of object, you know, what you're going to want to do is leave the prefab selected. You're going to go over to prefab and you're going to stamp it. That way you can move around the pieces. And then uh, it's, if you select it and press N, it's going to say Easter egg, well, egg shot one. That one's going to say egg shot two. This one's going to say egg shot three. So once you shoot all three, your song is going to start. And this right over here, this is to actually activate all of these three. So it doesn't matter if it's close by to it. But, um, you know, you want to make sure that this is in the map because this is what's going to control these triggers. And, uh, it's, you know, save your map. You know, if you're putting in a teddy bear, let me uh, put in a teddy bear right now so you guys can see how I would do this. Let me go over to MISC model. We'll go to triggers. I'm going to put bear. You know, just put in a bear into your map. There he is. A cute little guy. Grab a trigger. And just put the bear inside of the trigger. That way when you shoot at the bear, you're hitting the trigger. And it activates one of the triggers. So that's pretty much it. You you know, you figure out what you're going to do with the triggers. And then uh, the last step is to save the file. And then compile. But of course, you're going to need a song. Now, if you guys don't know how to make a song that's going to be in a .wav file, you should download this program called Audacity, which works out perfect. 
So you would just open up this program. You would go to file. You would go to open to locate the song that you want. Now, imagine this didn't say a song Easter egg. It said something else, maybe blues or something like that. You double click on it and press OK. Now the song is in. Now, whenever you convert your song or export it, you have to make sure that it's says project rate on the bottom and it says 48,000. It's not going to work if it doesn't say 48,000. So it might be on 44, but just change it to 48. And then when you're good with the song or else you could be recording something. So just record it and then put it on 48,000. And then you're going to hit file and you're going to hit export audio. Click on that. You're going to make sure that it says wave Microsoft signed 16 bit PCM. And you're going to hit save, you know, pick the spot where you want to save it. And then it's going to say, Hey, uh, it's, for me, it's saying, do you want to overwrite it? That's fine. And then once you get over to this part, just leave it the way it is, or else you can clear the tags and press OK. And once you're done, the audio will be exported to wherever you wanted it. And compile your map, and you're good to go. That's it. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.